at the top of the bump and grind. Stay tuned for Airgun Detectives. Welcome to another episode of Airgun Detectives. I'm your host, JC, and today we're going to take the mystery out of the Walter Rain UXT PCP bull pump. But before we get into this, do me a favor. If you hadn't already, please hit that subscribe button down in the corner. It doesn't cost you anything. It's absolutely free, and it really helps support the channel. In addition to that, if you have the opportunity, check out my website at www.airgundetectives.com. On that site, I've got a variety of t-shirts, hats. I also have Generation 2 bipods, and I have a very limited number of these compact scopes. So when those are gone, they're gone. But go ahead and check that out when you have the opportunity. All right, let's get back to the Walther here. Yes, this is a bull pump. And if you guys don't know what a bull pump is, it's a compact air rifle. They compress it. And you think, okay, so this is, this is a small rifle with a short barrel. No, that's the secret. The barrel actually is, on this model, it's 23 and a half inches. So it goes from here all the way into the back of the stock right to this area where the magazine is. So your barrel actually travels this entire distance, in, in case you didn't know what a bull pup is. All right, so this gun itself weighs five and a half pounds, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing feels really good in the hands. It really does. It shoulders really, really nice. Its overall length is only 34 inches. The unique thing about this rifle is it's ambidextrous. So in addition to this cocking arm here that can be switched to either side. In other words, let me show you here. So as you can see the setup right here, the arm can be moved over and put in this area. The magazine itself right here is ambidextrous. So it can either go in on the left side like this, or we flip it over, and it goes right in on the right side either direction. It's pretty cool. And speaking of the magazine, this magazine is one of the best. It's really high quality and it's very easy to load. You just rotate it, add your next pellet, add your next pellet, add your next pellet. No putting in a pellet backwards, no moving an outside shield, nothing like that. It's that simple. And then it pops just right in the gun. There's nothing to it. Yes, and you can decock this gun, which is really nice. So 10 shot magazine and 22 caliber. I really like the ambidextrous features on this. This is pretty cool. And what else they did too, most of your bull pups, if you'll notice, you cock them towards the back. The back area is normally where the hammer is. This one, they actually moved the cocking arm up and it makes it really, really convenient to shoot. Anyway, this whole gun is, uh, it's brought to you by Umarex, but this is made in Germany. This is a Walther, made in Germany. So. That's kind of cool when you think about that, because usually you think of Walther, German made, you think of high quality. Um, this has a polymer stock and it's really solid. This is definitely like a military grade polymer. It is uh, 3300 PSI fill and it's got a fill probe that goes right here on the side. You can see the gauge right here. And just above it, right here or behind it, is your fill probe. You just pop that in there and it's got your standard foster fitting on that and you fill it up. And this is a 3300 PSI fill. So you take it all the way up to 3300 PSI. It does have an adjustable trigger and it does have a metal Picatinny rail on the top and then it has a little Picatinny uh, rail on the front in case you want to put a bipod because it does not come obviously with a bipod and it does not come with an optic. And you're going to need that because there's no open sights on this at all. So. I'm really looking forward to shooting this. I've been having my eye on this one for a long time, but I'll tell you that again, this thing just, it shoulders so well. It really does. So I'm really excited to go out and test it, but let's go out and test it and we'll come back and talk about it and we'll go from there. So stay tuned for the next segment. All right, let's test out our Walther Rain over the crony. We're going to start with our uh, field target trophies, our 14.66, five shots. We'll average it out, see what type of velocity we get. All right. Shot number one, 921. Shot number two, 924. Shot number three, 941. Shot number four, 952. 
and shot number five. 936. There you go. There's your average velocity and uh, your foot pounds of energy. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our rain for some accuracy. And like any of the PCPs, I like to push them back to a little over 40 yards to get you guys kind of a, a closer idea of how well they group, because that's what we do with the PCPs. And we're going to be using the four inch targets. Look at these, they come in a roll now from Splatterburst, which is kind of cool. They're very convenient for storage and what have you. But anyway, I'll leave you guys a link down below, but I love the impact point. But we'll be using these four inch targets so at, at 40 yards. So yeah, it's a small little target from here. As far as pellets go, this gun is not pellet picky. It shoots heavy pellets, it shoots light pellets, and they all group actually really decently. They really do. So um, we're gonna go with an 18 grain pellet. The H&N and the JSB is a virtual tie with this gun as far as grouping goes. So let's just uh, go with the Barracudas. We're gonna shoot five shots, see how well it groups. Now go ahead and take a quick look. That's how far we're out. This is where we're shooting from. All right, let's see how well we group here. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Not too shabby. Not a bad group. All right, see how it does at 40 plus yards. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's test out our Walther for some uh, pool weight. This is a fully adjustable trigger as well. A little more complicated to adjust it. You actually have to take the case apart and get inside and make your adjustments. But once it's done, it's pretty good. So let's see what our pool weight is. Got, got our trusty Lyman trigger gauge. See how well it does. One pound, nine ounces. One pound, nine ounces. So under a two pound trigger. Got to like it. All right. Let's move on to the next segment. All right, let's do a little plinking with our Walther Rain here. I just love how this gun feels. Yeah, once again, I am using one of my scopes. In fact, I got a few of those left. You guys are interested on the website, but they're actually pretty amazing scope for the price. They really are. All right, we, we shot the um, 18 grain H&Ns for the target. So for the plinking, I thought we'd shoot the JSB 18 grains just to kind of mix it up. So we're a little over, right around 40 yards for our plinking here. Why don't you guys go ahead and take a look. We got a couple eggs there, PVC, what have you, some shotgun shells. So I'm gonna try to knock those down. And a little windy, but not too bad. Yeah, the shotgun shells, I should have used red ones. The white ones are kind of hard to see, but let's start with the shotgun shell on the left side. And that's a hit. And our next shotgun shell. And that's a hit. All right, I'm gonna go all the way over and hit our piece of PVC because I don't want to take a chance of hitting one of those eggs and knocking it out of the way, so. And that's what you call a cool target. See how that shatters? All right, the right egg. Man, this thing hits hard. And last but not least, Wow, you really do get a lot of power out of this thing. I just love the way it feels. It's so much fun to shoot, it really is. All right, let's move on to the final segment. All right, let's wrap this up with our conclusion here. How'd our Walther Rain do? Well, I tell you, I thought it did really, really 
well. This gun was really fun to shoot. I have to be honest with you, really fun to shoot. But like anything else, let's talk about the negatives. My number one negative is the trigger adjustment. It's not that simple. You actually have to split the stock on this rifle. And I took a couple pictures so you can see what's on the inside here. But with that, once you do get it adjusted and dialed in, you put it back together, you're pretty much done with it. You don't have to take it apart again. And there is an option. You can actually adjust the trigger and then there's a front spring there. You can actually change it out with a little lighter weight one if you wanted to. So it does give you some really good options. And once this trigger is dialed in, it is really nice. Okay, my other negative. As cool as this stock is, I don't like the fact that we have all these screws, if you can see up here close here. See all these screw holes? It's a lot of screw holes. To me, I don't know, it just visually it kind of lessens the rifle a little bit. I wouldn't like to see all those screw holes in it, but it is the way it is. But those are my two negatives, that's it. So let's talk about the positives. First off, this rifle is really fun to shoot. I just love the foregrip. I love how this thing shoulders. It is so comfortable. It really is. And the stock, even though I was complaining about the holes in it, it's solid. It's really heavy duty. You can just tell it's a military grade type of uh, synthetic. It really is. I love the fact it's ambidextrous. If you'll notice, the cocking arm is on the right hand side. Well, actually, for a left hander, that's advantageous when you're shooting bipods because I can keep my hand on the grip and, you know, and the trigger area, and then I can just cock it with the right hand when I'm shooting it. So if I'm set up like this, I get to cock it without taking my hand off. I like that. Well, guess what? You as a right-hander, you would have the option of switching this cocking arm over to the left side and do the same thing on that side, which is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. And I love the fact that this cocking arm on a bullpup is forward, where it makes it really comfortable to cock it. The other cool thing is the ambidextrous magazine. It can be loaded from either side, which is pretty cool. And it's just convenient, and it keeps it out of the way of your, you know, if you're resting your cheek, it's not going to be in that way. So you can put it on the opposite side when you're shooting, which is really good. Um, the other thing I liked is this thing was actually really powerful and really accurate. And once you get the tr trigger dialed in, it is just absolute pleasure to shoot. Now, this is an unregulated PCP rifle. So there's going to be a power curve on this. And like most of the PCPs, what I do for you guys is chart it out and we're going to identify the sweet spot. But you're going to get 70 shots out of this, 70 shots per fill. And that's from the beginning to end. So if you want to just do plinking in the backyard with you're in a 25 yard range, you know, within that type of range, you, you can shoot pretty much 70 shots, knock cans down all day long. Now, if you want to be more precise, check out this chart. So it shows you um, basically the 70 shots, but look at the sweet spot. The sweet spot is actually between shot number 29 and shot number 54. So you got 25 shots right there. You averaged 1,062 feet per second and 37 foot-pounds of energy. And that was, I tested that with a 14.66 grain pellet. So basically what I'm saying is if you want to use this thing for hunting and you want the most power and the most accuracy out of it, you only have to fill it to 2,800 PSI. And then you can shoot it all the way down to 1,500 PSI and you're going to get 25 of the most accurate, powerful shots. So that's perfect for your hunting and your long distance shots. That's the thing about non-regulated PCPs. You got to find that sweet spot in the power curve and that's where your sweet spot is. So I like the rifle. It's really fun to shoot. By the way, if you guys like this little compact scope, I'll leave a link for you down below on that. Well, how would I rate this rifle overall? Overall, it's going to be four and a half stars in my opinion. Four and a half stars because it's, it's very fun to shoot. It's a very unique bullpup in the fact that you can switch this cocking lever and the fact that the lever is so far forward making it really convenient to shoot. Oh, one other thing, I do like the fact that the gauge is on the side. You don't have to look down towards the front of the barrel to see how much pressure you have. And it's very frugal on shots. It really is if you think about it. It's got a 3300 PSI fill, but like I said, you don't have to fill it that high. So if you're one of those that can only fill it to 3000, you're going to be in business with this one, that's for sure. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Air Gun Detectives. Don't forget, this is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. So until next time, I hope you and your families are doing well. You're getting plenty of shooting in, and God bless. Take care.